Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. Today we are jumping straight into part three of my series on using fake flowers in wedding and event decorations. And of course, these are not exclusive to just weddings. You can make them for your house, but for the most part, they are for weddings and events. And today we are gonna be making two floral rings, which I am super excited about. They are both cheap and affordable and so easy to make. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads. And with all that said and done, let's jump straight into the video. I used an embroidery ring that I had laying around to be the ring for this particular one because the wildflowers really give such a lovely rustic feel. I wanted it to be wood. And you can also make these out of sticks. I've seen this done before, so that's another option for you. And I've seen them tied together with jute twine. I just happened to have an embroidery ring at home. And so I laid them out in place and I put the purple on top just so that pop of color was there. And once I was happy with them, I took a little strip of floral wire and fasten them in place and then just to cover it up I tied a bow in the center and it just really made the purple pop out and that little bit of texture there just added another dimension once I was happy with that I then went back through with some green floral wire so it would blend into the green stems and I fastened some of the lower flowers in place just to make sure that they wouldn't slip out or anything like that and I did that on both sides For this next one, I actually used a hula hoop that I had spray painted. I wanted to use a metal ring, but I couldn't find one when I went shopping. So I thought, what else could I use? So I bought a really cheap hula hoop and got some gold spray paint and just sprayed it a couple of times and it worked really well. These are Kmart flowers that I'm attaching here. And again, I laid them over the top and then got floral wire to secure them to the hoop. Now, because they are quite long, they do bend into into place quite well as well so that's really good this was a really simple design that I wanted to go with so I just got some of the Kmart roses that you can buy and then put two white on the outside with a pink in the middle just to kind of break up the color and I once again secured them with floral wire you don't have to use floral wire you can even uh, unfold a paper clip and use that you can use twine whatever you want to use you could even glue them in place if this is going to be a permanent fixture and I'm so happy with the result they look fantastic And we are done and they are so easy. They look really great. And if you don't have an embroidery ring laying around like I did, that is totally fine. The other one, as I said, was just a painted hula hoop. You can use wire rings. You can even make your own rings. I've seen them being made out of old coat hangers before. So the options are endless. This is just the starting point for you to get creative. I hope you guys enjoyed part three of my series and if you haven't seen the other two videos in this series I will link them down below. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads and I will see you next time. Bye!